A Universal Interactive Studios production. Developed by Traveler's Tales. Crash Bandicoot! The Wrath of Cortex! Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Uh, I'm pretty much going to be calling it Crash 4 because, well, it's the fourth game in the series. The main series, anyway. It's also the first Crash game, well, first Crash console game, not developed by Naughty Dog. So needless to say, a lot of people were kind of pissed when this game came out, but I think it gets a bad rep. It's not that bad of a game. It's it's not horrible. Yeah, let's, let's just go with the standard Crash for this. But yeah, this game does a lot of really good things, and I feel it doesn't you know, deserve the hate it gets. Though I will admit, the loading times are kind of bad. Like, really bad. Imbeciles! Fools! Nincompoops! Can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic! Ooka ooka, it's not our fault that Richard Bandicoot is to blame! I will not let anything stand in the way of evil. Especially not a brainless orange marsupial. Crash must be eliminated. Uh, Uka Uka, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan! Or else... How do I get into these situations? Ugh. There must be something we can come up with. Say, Doctor, haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex, I think he's referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable strength. But the power source is the final missing crucial element. 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 Yes! The elementals! Right! The elementals, that's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities, and wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> and that's why this game was called The Wrath of Cortex. Though I will give Traveler's Tales props, they managed to get, like, pretty much all the original voice actors. I mean, you know, Entropy has a new voice actor, but eh, he's not all that bad. Everyone all right? It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Okay, this is a freaking long yeah, intro. Yeah. Holy crap! You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No schemes. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice age a couple of centuries back. <laughs> 
cannot restrain them, Huka Huka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. <laughs> On the contrary, Aku Aku. It spells disaster for you and that precious planet you care so much about. Destroy him! You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Okay, seriously, can we get to game now? Crash, Coco, it is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elemental's destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each Elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there, and it'll be ready to go. You got well a little picture done, of Tana Coco. in the background. This gives us. I think the by this point had already dumped Crash. It. We must hurry. In favor of Pinstripe Pataro, I'm just saying. I like this little image right here with the silhouettes. That that, that was nice. Though, rewatching this after so long, I kind of have to agree with some sentiments that uh. This game didn't look as good as it could have. I mean, some of the 3D models, like, you know, some, some, some of the models aren't as equal as some other ones, like. Okay, all systems are ready and operational. Like, I like how Crash and Cortex look. They look fine. Uh, Uku Uku and Aku Aku are, are all right, too. But, eh, some of the other ones could have been better. I mean, Entropy looked just flat out bad. He didn't even have a nose. But... Yeah, and also some of the backgrounds in the cutscenes just weren't all that Bandicoot, great. Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? <laughs> You gotta be kidding. I'll exterminate this field rat in no time. Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. And seven minutes later, I can actually play the darn game. So, yeah. In this hub world, it... It could have looked better. Could have looked better. I'm also playing the GameCube version because, yeah, with this being the first game in the Crash series, not really developed by Naughty Dog, they just went ahead and released it to, uh, you know, the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. So yeah, you know, we we can still do the spins. Uh, hell is slide. Okay, X is slide. Y brings down the menu. Okay, we're good. We're good. Harmy wants to take off the rumble on the spin, though. That That is just really weird. Can I take off the rumble? I'll leave it on for now. All right. Here we go. Level one, Arctic Antics. Because, yeah, while this game doesn't look as great as it could in some aspects, it's still... What are you looking at, Fuzzhead? I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex woke me from my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, Rump. Because if you do, I'm going to bury you alive. Okay. But, yeah, this game, I mean, at least it stays true to the Crash formula, with, you know, with the hub world and the levels. Well, I mean, not hub world, but just the central hub. Like, all the different levels with different themes, and even the level design is, you know, pretty much standard Crash level design. And, okay, yeah, it tells me how many boxes. Also, this game does not screw around with the difficulty. I, I, I consider this game on the level of uh, Crash 1 in terms of difficulty. Like, ju just in terms of basic difficulty, not trying to 100% it. This game, a lot easier than Crash 1 to 100%. 
And that's for damn sure. But this is a very hard game. Okay. I also want to be really careful. Because as this game... Freaking hell. But yeah, I also want to be really careful because... Uh, like I said, this game does not screw around. And this first level of the game has a freaking death root in it. That is insanity. And we're already being introduced to Nitro. Oh, oh my, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. See? See? They're, they're probably more evil than Naughty Dog. I mean, you have ice physics, Nitro, and a death route all in the first level. That's, that's mean. That is just, that's just mean and cruel and evil and hateful and spiteful and, and other things and just in between. That narwhal, he scares me. Okay. Holy crap, that was scary. All right. And let's see. Uh, wait, how do I? There we go, okay. All right. So now let's get another mask. So far so good. I'm just playing super careful because, you know, death root. I don't want to screw up. Okay. Come on, get wampas. Let me just make sure they explode it. Because I don't want this, to wait a minute. There seems to be something above. Did I actually have to go around that crate to bounce on top of it to... Oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I might have screwed up already or not. I hope not. Whatever. Let's keep going. We're doing good, I guess. I mean, I have yet to die. I probably should not have said that because now that I said that, I'm probably going to die very shortly. Like probably inches away from the death route and then I'll probably cry and then I'll have to redo this level again. I'm not even taking my chances with these penguins. Oh my god, this level's like Shades of Cold Hard Crash from Crash 2. Well, no, I mean, it's nowhere near as bad as that, but... Still, I mean, we, you know, we're starting off with the level that gave me so much ire in Crash 2. If you can kill that penguin, that'd be pretty freaking spectacular. Eh, yeah, whatever. Alright, and... Okay, nothing over there. Okay, I got double the mask, double the power. If I didn't get hit like a dumb person, I could have had invincibility right now, and it'd be pretty freaking sweet. I don't think I can stand in the water. Oh, man. I'm just so on edge right now. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, is that the death route? Oh, I, I, me thinks that is the death route. Oh, we got a bonus and a death route right next to each other. All right, let's go to the bonus first. Let's bonus it up in the hizzy. And he's shivering. Aw. Okay, so yeah, the bonus, it pretty much stays the same. No, just standard fare is getting us accustomed to the game again. And yet you don't want to blow that up so you can get those goodies. And then we can hit that. Okay, yeah, get a life, but why not? So far I'm doing pretty damn good. Hope I will not come to regret those words. Uh, crap. Aw, oh, man. I'm just so used to playing Crash on the PS2. Like, well, just the PlayStation. I probably should have just went ahead and bought the PS2 version of this just for the LP. I mean, it's not that expensive of a game. I mean, plus, like I said, I'm, I'm just used to the D-pad on the PS2. Or not PS2, but PlayStation controller. 
Though to be fair, I was playing, like, I, I was LPing this entirely on the PS3, so yeah, whatever. We have Nitro. And this is nothing but pure ice. Thankfully, I have two masks. And I'll probably use them all up here. Ah, crap. Nope. This is too much. This is too scary. Anyway, you just need to be calm, be cool, be fall down a pit, be collected. And of course I start back here. Oh boy. Apparently, I'm gonna have to do this level again because, you know, dying right next to the thing. Oh, okay. It's not as lenient as Crash 3 is, that's for damn sure. Um, but, yeah, okay, I guess I can bring it up. I like the fact that the death route had, well, the death route platform had that, you know, skull and a scarf. It's a nice touch. Oh, boy. But we're just gonna have to finish this level like normal, and then I'm just gonna have to come back and do the death route for that one, um, their blue, um, thing, um, the, uh, gem. Oh, okay. At least I get the crate gem. And we're done with the level. Alright, but yeah, as you can see, you know, basic crash fare, you know, the level design, it's... It's pretty much, you know, the Traveler's Tales, they tried to stay true to the formula, and there were people that were mad about that, like, oh, you didn't innovate enough. But then, along came Twin Sanity, that's when they're like, oh, you innovated too much! It's an open-world crash game that we all wanted for years, but no, it sucks. Seriously, everybody wanted an open-world crash game, Traveler's Tales gave it to them in Twin Sanity, and people didn't like it. Why? Oh, well, whatever. Time to not get hurt and do this death route. Oh boy. And of course the invincibility won't last until the death route. Uh, of course. Oh well, I, I guess that's good, you know, design so that, you know, you can't really cheese through this and, you know, just, just cheese through it. And of course, of course. Why am I playing so cowardly right now? I don't know. I am just so much of a coward right now, it's kind of ridic- WHY CAN'T I MAKE THAT JUMP?! Whatever, I made it to new territory, and I got the blue gem. Alright, so, yeah, I, oh my god, I actually do have to do all that. Oh my god, what? Oh, oh no, oh dear. God. I don't think I ever got the blue gem, so I, or either that or I do remember this, or... Oh, this is disgusting! Oh, man! Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> this is... This is frightening! Oh, man. Maybe I can make that? Um... I'm probably just gonna go ahead and die and get the normal exit, but still, like... This? Yeah, whatever. I should keep the gem. Please don't tell me I actually have to finish that. Okay, yeah, I still have the gem. Alright, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Screw that area! <laughs> no way! 
No! That is not about to happen! Not today! Not ever! Holy crap! Alright, so there we go, we got the blue gem, and yeah, that was level 1! So remember when I said this game was hard? I was not playing around. That was level 1. Whew! Alright, so anyway, onward to Tornado Alley. Oh man, I'm still not over that little last section in the death route. I honestly don't remember that. Then again, I have yet to 100% this game. Oh, oh boy, okay, alright, we're already on a flying level. What, what the hell? How do I shoot? Oh, okay, A. A to shoot, alright, alright, yeah, we gotta... We gotta destroy stuff. Like that, okay, what, what am I... Oh, there's 15 crates. Let's go for the crates first. I guess, this seems to be a good idea, or if I even them out. You know, shouldn't I have got some help from that little crate thing I just destroyed? Eh, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll just destroy crates. Just destroy crates. We'll, we'll worry about the gym first, then we'll worry about these things. I don't know what these things are. I just know that we want to destroy them. How many crates I got left? Oh, I have 11. Okay. But you know what? That's right there. Let's go ahead and destroy that. Okay. Yeah, this level, not as hard as its predecessor, but yeah, I mean, you know. It's the first flying level. I mean, see? See, they're already they're already throwing the flying levels at us. Already. We had to get to what? Like, warp room 4? In Crash 3 to get this? I'm also getting lives like it ain't nobody's business. Okay. And, ooh, six crates left. But two of those little things. I'm also taking considerable damage. Whatever. Come on. Die. Whatever you are. I can't do a barrel. Oh, I can do a barrel roll. Press L to do a barrel roll. Okay, no. All right, and I see that one all off in the distance. Are you the final one? No, 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 you're far from it. I, I can't seem to hit you, okay? Oh, of course, there's one on the other end of the little freaking spectrum of this arena. I don't know, oh, you're the final one. Okay, and then I will destroy you. Okay, got health, got the gem, and I'm about to get the crystal. Like so. Alright! That is going to be a rather hard level to get the time trial for. Whatever. Oh yeah, and unlike Crash 3, uh, well yeah, there is a secret warp room, and you get it by, you know, finding relics from doing the time trials. However, unlike Crash 3, if I do the time trials now, um, it, it won't do anything. You're not able to access the secret warp room until you've beaten the final boss. So, yeah, I can't do my old strategy from Crash 3, but whatever, we're still making some progress. Anyway, final level of the video. Bamboozle! You want a piece of me, Bandicoot? Huh? Huh? Do ya? Huh? Wuss! Okay, that was uncalled for, good sir. That was really uncalled for. But whatever, we will get our revenge on him sooner or later. Possibly in the next video because I'm kind of going to advance through this game pretty freaking fast. So yeah, new level type. We're in a ball. And we're rolling. The level is called Bamboozle because Bamboo. All right. So yeah, we can't spin. We can't jump. We can just roll. This... Looks like it would be so much fun in real life, I guess. I don't know. Racking up the lives like a boss. Okay, so now we're on this little shoot. Oh, wait, no. Oh, must destroy crates. Must destroy crates. Get gems. And collect wampas. All right. Just being extra careful here. Oh, 
Must. Okay. This is pretty fun, though. I, I must say. All right. And checkpoint. Okay, we're doing good. We got 24 out of 125. We'll be getting there soon enough. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is like already level three. You have a brand new, you know, level concept. I mean, well, Crash 3 did that too what with, you know, a swimming level. Uh... Yeah, yeah, the swimming level in Warp Room 1, because I don't think there was any swimming levels in Crash 2. No, there was not. All right. Yeah, these ball levels. Oh, crap. You want to be careful about your momentum, by the way. You know, so things like that won't occur. Okay, is this where I died from too much speed? I believe it was. Okay. Just being extra careful here. Okay, the Wampas want me to go this way, so I'm going to ignore the... Oh, no. Okay. Just be careful, because there's Nitro afoot. And I have no masks. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're looking good. We are looking good. Hmm. Nitro want me to go to the right. I want to go on the elevator. That was a wise decision. All righty. Can I please get a checkpoint? That that would make me, like, so happy right now. Because <laughs> I've, I've kind of been, you know, playing for a bit without a checkpoint. Okay. But hey, we're, we're looking good. We are looking good. Okay, got that. Let's be careful. Yep. Like, this level is just, like, really fun when trying to do the uh, time trial, though, because, you know, you're just going as fast as possible. It's... It, it, it's... I don't know. I, I just like this concept. It's a neat little concept. Although, a later level... But this concept is, like, really difficult. We'll get to it when we get to it. I don't know, I guess, like, sort of, like, me... Wow, okay, we got the crystal, and not a single checkpoint in sight. I guess another reason why I was playing, like, really careful and just cowardly is because... You know, that this is, uh, on the GameCube, and, like I said, I'm accustomed to, uh... PlayStation! Analog control. Let me grab this checkpoint before I even dare go near the che uh, nitro. When did I get a mask? Oh, that was a good thing I saved. Holy crap. Must not die. Seriously, when the hell did I get a mask? This is the end of the stage. Why was there no Wampas... Confusion! Confusion. Mass and sheer amounts of confusion. That's pretty much what I'm feeling right now. Dang, this level has branching paths? Oh, that takes me to that. Okay. And I... Got... That, um, I feel like I shouldn't because there was a path I didn't go to. Oh, eh, whatever. All right, branching paths to the ending. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that was the uh, first part of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. I was about to say Crash 4, The Wrath of Cortex, but, you yeah, know, 4 is not a part of the actual title. So next time, we're going to finish off Warp Room 1. It's going to be pretty freaking sweet. And, uh, wait, how do I check percentage? Yeah, we're 7% complete with the game. 7% done with the game. I can't talk now. So thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye.